In this tutorial screencast, we'll look at the mechanism of enamine formation. Specifically, we'll examine the condensation of cyclohexanone, which is a ketone, with a secondary amine, pyrrolidine. So here is cyclohexanone, that's our ketone. We're going to condense that with this nitrogen heterocycle pyrrolidine. So we'll do this in the, the presence of paratoluene sulfonic acid, PTSOH. And the product of this is going to be an ene amine. So through a condensation reaction, we're also producing water as the byproduct. And basically what you can see is this reaction is changing. We're losing the elements of water. So from starting material in the, the, the ketone, this alpha hydrogen is ending up in our byproduct water. You can see that the enamine only has a single hydrogen here. So that hydrogen is actually being abstracted through the mechanism. So let's go through the mechanism of this reaction. First, let's draw in our lone pairs on oxygen has two, nitrogen has one. So first things first, let's go ahead and, and let's, let's write this as H A. So that will, gener that will um, signify our acid, just so we don't have to draw the paratoluene sulfonyl every time. So first things first, let's go ahead and protonate with that acid. So in terms of the curved arrow formation, the arrow starts at the lone pair of oxygen, it's being protonated, we form an OH bond, we therefore break the acid conjugate base bond. So we have our equilibrium arrows here, forward and reverse direction. So now that we're, we're protonating that oxygen, it's going to have a formal plus charge. And that plus charge is balanced out by the negative charge of the conjugate base. So we, we're balancing out charge. At this point, let me go ahead and show you a resonance form of this in which the electrons in the pi bond reside on oxygen. So here's the resonance arrow, this double-headed arrow here. That's going to show the positive charge now residing on the carbonyl carbon. So we have a neutral oxygen plus charge on the carbonyl carbon. So that helps us rationalize why the amine is going to attack that particular carbon. So let's go ahead and draw that now. So nitrogen has a lone pair. It's going to start at the lone pair and then attack here. So we're forming a carbon-nitrogen bond. This now is also under equilibrium. So at this point, we're, f we're forming an NO acetal. So nitrogen now is going to bear that positive charge. And we have our counter ion here. So we can call this an NO acetal. So we learned that acetal is an oxidation state 2 functional group. Uh, in this case, we just happen to have a sigma bond to oxygen and a sigma bond to nitrogen. So what will happen now is a proton transfer between the conjugate base, thereby restoring the lone pair on nitrogen. So we're still under equilibrium here.
Let's draw our lone pairs in on oxygen. So nitrogen is now neutral. So we know that to get to our final product, the enamine, we have to do a couple things. We have to lose the oxygen and we have to lose a proton from the alpha carbon. So again, here's the alpha carbon. So how do we want to go about doing that? We know that OH is a bad leaving group, so we're under acidic conditions, so we'll do a proton transfer. So that's protonating the oxygen. That's starting to look now like water. We know that water is a good stable molecule. So let's go ahead and show an elimination with this, this lone pair on nitrogen forming a CN pi bond. So an elimination forms a pi bond. This is our best leaving group. So that's going to leave as water. So we'll put minus H2O. So what are we forming now? Notice that nitrogen is going to have now a positive charge. So we still have our conjugate base floating around, A minus, to balance out that positive charge. Here's our alpha carbon. So what can happen to regenerate the catalytic amount of acid, this proton can be deprotonated. We break the carbon-hydrogen sigma bond, and we restore the lone pair on nitrogen to end up with our enamine. So that also generates, regenerates our catalyst, so we can say plus HA, so in square brackets is our catalyst. So this has been the mechanism of enamine formation, specifically showing a, a cyclic ketone, cyclohexanone, plus this secondary amine. losing water in a condensation reaction to form an ene amine.